Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue with the essential elements of singing discussion and today we are going to talk about diction. As a singer, it's not just important to sing in tune and in rhythm, but it is also important to convey the message of the song to the audience. If there is a clear understanding of the song, the audience can then connect with the emotion and message of that song very clearly. When the song is easy to understand, it helps the audience to connect with the emotion and message of the song. So how do you ensure perfect diction? Here are a few steps that you can follow. The first step is to listen to the song multiple times. This will help you get familiar with the song and understand the pronunciation better. The second step is to read up the meaning of the lyrics. See, as a singer, you are an instrument through which the song gets expressed to the audience. So, to do it full justice, you must know the meaning of the song if you don't know already, so that you can then convey it in the best possible manner to the audience. To understand the meaning, you can either ask someone who knows the meaning or you can google it. You will find the lyric meaning on a lot of websites. The third step is to listen to the song again once you know the meaning and then now focus on which are the words that are stressed upon, which are the words which are sung softly, what is the flow of the different words in the song. So for example, the song Aakho Me Tiri has really beautiful words which have been strung together in a very very nice way to actually give importance to specific words and convey the overall meaning very well. So, Aakho me teri ajab si ajab si adai hai Dil ko bana de jo patang sa se ye teri wo hawai hai So you see the second line Dil ko bana de jo patang So patang basically means kite so the way that line has been made, it actually feels like, you know, you're going up floating high in the air. Dil ko bana de jo patang saase ye teri wo hai. So because I know the meaning, because I know how to pronounce each word, I'm able to string it in the melody in a very meaningful and beautiful way, which conveys that emotion to you that I'm trying to express, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. So finally, the fourth step is to convert this to paper so that you can refer it and sing correctly using the correct diction and the correct pauses wherever required. So let me just give you an example of a snippet of the song Hawaii, how I have written it down and what is helping me with the diction and the flow of the words. Banati hai jo tu, wo yaade jane sang mere kab tak chale, inhi me to meri. So how I have made arrows wherever the song is going higher like and there are dots after the two to show that the two has to be extended a little bit. Again, the lay has to go down. So, chale inhi me to meri. So from Chale, Inhi is a little higher, that's why that arrow is there. Inhi me to meri. Again, meri, there are dots here. Subha bhi da. Now there are two arrows above Subha because from meri, if it's already high, Subha is going further high. So I have made two arrows. Inhi me to meri. Subha bhi da le, sham da le, mausam da le. Now da le me also da is high. So da le. So arrow about da. Now, if you're singing a song in a language other than your own, this whole process of understanding and getting the diction right can become very challenging. Recently, I was a part of a multilingual group performance where we did a medley of songs with different languages. So I had to sing in languages that I'm completely unfamiliar with, like Tamil, Telugu and Malayalam. So apart from listening to these songs multiple times and understanding the lyrics, what really helped me here was jotting down these lyrics in the Devanagari script, which is the Hindi or Marathi script. This script is very close to the phonetic sounds, so it really helps me to understand the pronunciations better. You can do this in any language of your choice or your mother tongue. If it is an Indian language song, then it will be very very useful for you 
to jot down the lyrics in your mother tongue which would also be an indian language so would be able to capture the essence of the lyrics better jotting down the lyrics in indian languages for indian languages always will work better than writing in english so i'll give you an example of a tamil song where i followed this technique and it helped me with my pronunciations perfectly and i have noted down the lyrics in devnagari so that i understand the pronunciation perfectly and i also made certain symbols here and there to understand the flow let's hear kaatrein vasal vandai meduvaga kadavu tirandai kaatrei un perai keten kaadal endrai so exact perfect pronunciations are being captured here and i have made the arrow because again kaatre in n is high and in the end kaadal endrai that endrai is extended that's why the dots famous singers like lata mangeshkar shreya ghoshal also used the same technique to get the diction perfectly so when they sang any song in multiple languages it sounded almost like they are native speakers some examples of shreya ghoshal songs in other languages apart from hindi would be first one in marathi is ram 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 from dr vasanthra deshpande movie then there is a tamil song called munbeva that's just one of many tamil songs that she has sung and there are a lot of songs she has sung in many other languages in conclusion by singing in clear and precise diction singers can enhance their overall performance and connect more deeply with their audience thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification every time i upload a video thank you so much and see you next time